We are back. And you know, Almost Live is not just a vehicle for entertainment. Far from it. As a matter of fact, we dedicate ourselves to furthering the advancement of the scientific field of knowledge of all endeavors, whatever. In, in any case, to that end, please welcome a personal friend of mine, a great humanitarian, and an all-around nice guy. Please welcome Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, come on out. Nice to see you. Nice to be seen, John. Great to have you here, Bill. Gosh. Great to be had. Thanks, thanks. You know, the audience, myself, we're all just wondering, what depths of scientific inquiry are we going to plumb tonight? Uh, indeed, John. You know, I get cards and letters. I get faxes nowadays. Uh, you get faxes in your car? Uh, no, I haven't reached that point. Phone mail. Oh, yeah? Yeah, phone mail. Anyway, sure. uh, the question is, I'm in a car, you're in a car, one is in a car going 50 miles an hour. Uh huh. Is it better to hit another car head-on, also going 50, or should you hit a brick wall at, say, 100 miles an hour? That's 50, 50, or 100 into the brick wall, which so is better? I guess the basic question is, is two cars hitting each other at 50 miles an hour the same as running one yes. car into a wall at 100 miles an the hour? The same. Indeed, a very good question. And funnily enough, <coughs> that's yeah. just the equip to verify that's, or to I, research this concept. I'm glad you got that because, you know, Bill, that's a question that's always perplexed me and I've often thought of maybe crossing the center line, you know, some night to, to test that out. But I'm, I'm glad we can do it here in the, uh, you know, pristine laboratory environment that we have. That's, yeah. you know, that's what I think of almost live, that's a pristine laboratory environment. <laughs> huh. wonder if people in management know that. Okay. Well, John, oh, John, before we begin, oh, very important, John, please put these oh, on. All right, oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to proceed the without The safety those. glasses. Yeah. I think. Ah. Yeah. Ah. You look sharp. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have here two vehicles. Uh-huh. We see we have uh, the balloon passengers, and we have the glass ball bumpers. Ah. I may just show you here. Uh, set them down on the roadway. Uh-huh. Now, the roadway is constructed. You notice these cars don't have motors. So what we're going to do is we're going to use gravity to get the cars going at the same speed. Right. Sort of like a, a demolition Pinewood Derby or something like that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, this is science. Oh, mm. okay. All right. All right. Now, if you'll just pull your car up All right. to the uh, proper place there. All right. Now, what we'll do is we'll release these cars on go, which will be subsequent to a one. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they well, both uh, both broke there, Bill. Yeah, that's really that's really not what I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe if we look at the instant replay, we yeah, might be able we to can sort see, this out. Sort okay. it out. Yeah. Let's see. Let's take a look. Okay, there they are. They're so okay. They're and when they hit, they're you okay. See, oh, you see? oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Now that everybody, if just bear with. It. The guy was okay till the border balloon landed on the shards of glass. Yeah. Which, uh, maybe another type of bumper would have been more prudent, Bill. But yeah, you know, that's I guess another show. But you know. So see, we were okay till we till we landed on the shards, on the shards of, of, of broken glass. glass. So well, much like you might find on a highway if two cars, you know, <laughs> were to collide. If you were a water balloon. If you were a water balloon, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Boy, we're just about to get cold fusion here. I yeah, think. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. No. All right. John, what I want to do, I want to take the experiment, of course. Well, you've got the, the studio all wet. That's good. Uh, okay. I want to take the experiment, the, the next step. Okay. And that, of course, involves building a brick wall. Ah. <coughs> on okay, a roadway, so. Which I happen to have here. We have a hypothetical brick wall yes. on the roadway, which Hypo in this case is an actual brick wall, too. Yes, so. it is an actual brick wall. Okay. What a coincidence. Well, this yeah. is fun. I hope, you know, we got puddles here. No, it's okay, John. It's, it's science. Ah. Now, John, I have here a... A third vehicle, anticipating there might have been some sort of problem like that. <coughs> and uh, this vehicle uh, so has is... has a smile, you'll notice, but no smile, eyes. His eyes are, are sort of minimalist. They're kind of a stingray, you know, the aquatic animal eyes. <laughs> They're sort of a crab thing. Okay. Uh, and I think that's the future in automobiles. Now, <laughs> all right. What I'm going to do is uh, put the car at a considerably higher distance to simulate not running two cars into each other at 50, but running into a brick wall at 100. Now, this passenger is specially developed, no longer filled with water. <laughs> no, this is not a water balloon. This is a butterscotch pudding balloon. Ah, oh, great. I think I'm going to step back a bit then, Bill. I you, think I'm going to... Okay. You've got your safety glasses on. Got them on. Yeah. 
All right, John. Well, uh, as you saw, the other balloon survived the crash course, some problems with the highway. This balloon, then, let's watch. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's pretty Can messy. Can we see there. the uh, instant replay, John? Okay. Let's take a look. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like, looked like it survived the crash, too, there, Bill. <laughs> looked like it broke it. Well, you know, John, uh, <laughs> we work on these things a great deal, of course, and in this case, we have. No, I wouldn't call it a total disaster, but uh, <laughs> sort of the exact, uh, not really the result that we anticipated no. at all. And but we do have a messy studio. We do. So we have yeah, trashed so the yeah. studio. We have trashed the studio. <laughs> Thank you. But this, is, this experiment aside, you know, <laughs> if this were to happen in the real world, Bill, just tell us what would happen. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Well, John, you know, uh, one half mv squared equals mgh in this case. So what you're going to have then is uh, the height of gravity, uh, the height above the floor, then uh, increasing the kinetic energy. But the kinetic energy goes as the square of the speed. So running into the wall at twice the speed, you'd have four times the energy. And on paper, you'd be trash. Also, uh, mm -hmm. also, when you run two cars together, you see both cars absorb energy. Uh -huh. And the other car, uh, then running into the brick wall, only has one car to absorb that much more energy. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, you know, any way you look at it, you're sort of in for a load of hurt. What you'll be is, is butterscotch all over the highway, John. Ah, I see. So the, the message is that if you're going down the road and uh, you're careening out of control at 50 miles an hour and you've got the chance to either run into, the, into the, say, the side of the tunnel or go into the tunnel and meet an oncoming mm -hmm. car, you want to do... Into the tunnel. Into the tunnel and meet the oncoming the car. The innocent car, right. Well, I'm off. glad that we can always provide people with useful information on Almost Live. Sure, Bill, John. Yeah. Sure. Well, it's been, uh, been nice to have you here again. And, geez, if there's any other fascinating experience we can do like this, uh, just come back any time. Yeah, thanks, Thanks John. a lot, Bill. Thank you all. We'll be right back. <laughs>